All right. Uh, I'm going to choose this car for this. Because this is the fastest car and the best, so... And go! Uh, this is Cruising USA. We basically just cruise through the USA. Basically just race. And I do it on the easiest difficulty with a up fully upgraded Jeep. And we there's an auto car that is highly fast, but... The good thing about the Jeep is, when it's fully upgraded, you can just go off-road and gain more speed. For some odd reason. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm like, this game is pretty accurate of how the USA looks. You're gonna see when it's pretty accurate. There's one say that's really accurate. Jeep is just, the Jeep is the best. Oh, it's possible to go on the side here to gain that extra speed, but I'm not good at that, so I'm not gonna do that. But you just gain a, you gain like 10 miles per hour or more when you go off-road. And it's only with the fully upgraded Jeep, so if it's not fully upgraded, it doesn't work. You, you don't lose speed, you don't, you don't stay at the same, you just gain speed. Yeah, this, it's basically, we just leave all the cars behind us and there's no way I can lose. There could be like random, there could be random cars coming from front that are going from side to side. And uh, I prefer that as a uh, drunken, drunk driver. Uh, there's also an arcade version of this. And the arcade version, the, the woman you just saw, uh, she doesn't have the shirt on, she just has the guinea and skirt. They censored it. Oh. How, G, how fast is the Jeep? The Jeep is like 160 miles per hour, but if you go off route, you, uh, it's gonna be 170. So, this is San Francisco, this is one of the stupidest stages. Also, the music in this state is pretty damn good. Like this is the best track. Also, you can hear a woman scream, and she's basically just probably besides me. You can hear her talk or just scream or yell "Look out!" Yeah, this is the best soundtrack in my opinion of the game. Okay, we just ran over two trees. Also, yeah, when you run out, when you drive over a tree. It falls just down flat and you lose like some miles per hour. Okay. That's pretty uh, pretty accurate of the physics when you crash. You just saw the car just flying forward. You you just mostly you just spin around for one circle. When you spin around, if if you hit something else or a car hits you, you spin another extra round. Doesn't matter if the if the spin is almost over, you just spin one more round extra. And if you get hit again, uh, the most circles I made when getting hit was like four times in a row. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, yeah, this is basically, we just, we just go as fast as possible to the end and pretty hard. Also those guys are just standing there, you can just, I don't know, they just stand there, they don't care if you drive over them. Also, there are like three views, this close, this one, and this. So this is, uh, I'm pretty sure this is the most accurate uh, state of how the USA looks. So this is where we go off-road, just drive on this. You see, I'm going on the 70. So this is pretty accurate of how the USA looks. And I just don't know what that car just did. If you just, if you go like from the side down there, you just fly in the air or something. But you can see I'm going 170 miles per hour now. Yeah, uh, <laughs> car is doing weird when you uh, when you get to this uh, track and drive over it. Sometimes it's just weird, and sometimes it just goes just goes over it normal. There's also a thing where you can uh, I use the uh, the automatic uh, handling and don't do the manual. 
There's a thing when you start the the race. If you start it on four, then switch to three, and then four, you go you you go a little bit faster when driving away. Uh, there's also alternate shift boosting. That's when you have it on manual and you shift shift between four and three fast. Uh, you gain more speed at that point. You can gain a lot more speed. But it only works with the jeep when uh, when you're off road. Okay, this is also a somewhat uh, stupid stage. The first, uh, the, the first half of this track is somewhat annoying. So in this game, we just want to be as much as possible off-road as we can, just to gain that extra speed. Okay, okay. That can happen sometimes. And there's also a stage where you just randomly warp to the middle of the, the road. And that happens when... If you, if you just get off the ground for only like a little bit, you can lose control of your car for like a second. Don't know why they did that. So I'm just gonna drive here on the sand. That was a pretty good stage. So there are like there are 14 uh, tracks in total. We already did four of them. So yeah, you can in this one, uh, this stage. There's another stage. You can drive on the sidewalk, but it's really difficult. To uh, stay on the sidewalk, so I'm not gonna do it. I'm not really good at like slightly doing the control stick, the left or right to just go a little bit. It's it's pretty not easy. It's pretty hard in my opinion. There's also a map on the right, it doesn't even help at all. It just shows a white square. That's me. And some other squares that are red or something. I don't know. It doesn't really help at all. Uh, the world record for this game is pretty damn good. <laughs> really really good so this is one of the stages where you can randomly get teleported when you're on the side I'm not gonna go on the side right now because if I do I just get bounced to the middle only from this spot you can go on here so there are times where I can just randomly spawn in the middle and basically bump into a car because the game just teleports you for some reason I don't know oh. just keep driving this days like this Okay, that was a uh, that that was. I just got teleported. I just I wasn't even close to the to, to the left side where I bonk like that. I wasn't even close, and it just teleports me. Okay, great. Oh, okay. Thanks, game.
There's not not a lot to talk about it, of this game. There are some stupid stages. There's one later on. And again, I got teleported to the middle. Good game. And just transitions from grass to just desert. Well, this is this is this is one of the like difficult stages. It's the Death Valley, and yeah, there's only one road for each side, one lane. You can you can go off road like this, but if you hit the bush, you just lose speed, and it's pretty difficult. Only if you're really good with slight uh, movement with the car, you can do it. That's sometimes there is a car on the left side that's in front of you, and one is coming from the left. So yeah, uh, you need to go around them because that's pretty annoying when that happens. You just have to go around. And hopefully, you don't hit a bush or something and lose speed. If there are any questions about this game, feel free to ask. So there's this train right here. If you're if you're not on time, if you bonk here, the train will go over this part and you just drive into it and you can kinda sort of get stuck. How old is this game? This is something I'm not really sure. I think 1996 or later. I, I I'm not sure. I'm probably way later. This is this is one of the free cruising games for the N64. Not sure. I never really Looked at how old it is. It's it's not that old. It's probably like late nineties. Okay, okay. I just couldn't do anything there. <laughs> it's interesting. I couldn't do anything there. Older than me. <laughs> Oh, this is a good game. I, it's a shame that the other two cruising games are not on Virtual Console because I'm playing this on Virtual Console right now. And it's a really fun game. Even though I'm not really into racing game that much, this is a really fun game to play. Definitely recommend it. Desert bus speed run. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can drive with a bus in this game. You can even drive with a police car, and you can put on the sirens of that of the of the car. It's pretty difficult to upgrade your cars because the there's basically always that blue car in the front, that blue muscle car. That is one. That's like always the one who's right behind you when you try to upgrade your cars he's like literally behind you and he just either he either just ask you or and you're not able to ask him difficult to upgrade it okay good <laughs> good car so in this stage we're gonna see Ra mount rushmore Oh, we killed one guy there in that car. This stage is pretty difficult on being on the side. Because of all the bumps. Murder simulator, basically.
So in the I think uh, I um, I read that the arcade version of this game has Fast and Furious uh, Fast and Furious like boards hanging in the game. Also, that was Mount Rushmore, and that was a drunk driver before that. He almost hit me. Also, if you if you choose the school boss in this game, the school boss uh, is is not a, it doesn't look exactly. It's just it's like slightly squished downwards than the than the school bosses you see in just driving the game. It's not like, it's not as like the height is not the same for some reason. Right of a crazy boss. Now this is also a stage where you just basically just kill off Roto. That's basically it. There's also a new game uh, category, and that one is pretty. That one is not easy. You can actually lose in the new game version, like in the new games category. And this one, you, it's like it's impossible to lose unless you're so bad you just bonk into everything. It's like it's impossible to lose. But in uh, new game category. Uh, that's happened to me that at the final race, like the final track, that blue muscle car just passes me in, in the last corner and just completely ruins the run. Uh, pretty stupid. You just go around those posts. We don't care. That trophy girl needs medical attention. <laughs> Something uh, logic. Yeah, it's it's it's. It, they just put a shirt over the trophy girl, and the, just in the in the arcade version, she just has the bikini and the skirt on. Uh, well, we just killed four people right now. They're just still they're still cheering right there. Okay, uh, this is basically the, the dumbest stage uh, in the game. This one is stupid. This one is the first, like, like three parts. This part is just like this, it's easy. Then we go like somewhat on the ground. Uh, that part is stupid, and after that, it's even more stupid. What's after that? It's just, just the dumbest stage the whole game. And there's no way we can go off-road here, it doesn't allow us. So this is the this is one of the dumb parts. You don't see what's around the corner, so yeah, basically that. I got some luck. Uh, I got I I got uh, I went into a circle and got hit on the other side, so I circled back. And I just could continue. So but you don't see what they are doing. Sometimes they are just in the middle of the part driving, and but this is probably pretty much di this is a really difficult stage to do. So the part now, this is dumb. Even the cars, just like like that car, they don't even know what to do. They just bonk into those things and just go in the middle of the road. They just don't know what to do. This does the worst, just the worst design in this game. And it's really annoying seeing those things every time. It's just like this car doesn't even know what to do. It just goes on the other side. Yeah, but that that stage is pretty much really, really difficult to get a good IL time on it. So this is basically the same one as the other one, as the other states. It's basically just copy paste, except for the like the small bridges. That's the only difference. It doesn't have those small bridges. It's just basically a copy paste of the other uh, stage. I just they couldn't think of anything else, I guess. And I got teleported again. Please stop game. Uh, funny.
Oh, we killed five people now. Oh, we're almost at the end of the game. Um, this one and the next one, and then it's done. Okay, uh, at these parts when you go down you cannot see what's below, so you can bump into a car. Pretty, it's pretty annoying. So there's a big uh, gap between uh, the the eighth star and the ninth. There's like a big gap. I don't know. It's probably not part of USA anymore. You just skip it. You could have put more stages in that spot. You just basically just skip it. You just skip a whole part. This is the last stage. Um. Yeah. This is this is Washington D.C. Last stage. There are two like two. Like kind of corners that can be quite difficult if there's a car in the corner because you can easily mess it up then this is one of the corners if it's if there's a car in this corner it just completely messes up and it's really hard to even get the corner good uh, my car. Here's another one. Okay, there's a car right in here, so I need to go extra. Okay, there we go. The uh, time is coming up soon. Really, really soon. Also, there's money on the wall. Put that. Okay, that was a drunk driver again. And time. Oh, uh, this was cruising USA. We just cruised through the USA. Yeah. Let's see. Also, it shows it shows the White House, but, but with cows on it. Here, you just see a bunch of barn stuff. There's like agents, and there's a cow. Even in the house. <laughs> Pretty accurate of how the White House used to look. 2408 is not bad. That's not bad at all. It's pretty good. Not bad at all. Yeah. That was Cruising USA. Hope you guys uh, liked it. And there's credits. Eh? There's also someone called Mr. E. And it doesn't even show the face. I don't know. It's probably Mystery. Yeah, that was good. Yes, I hope you liked it and enjoyed the rest of the marathon. Even though it just started, basically. All right, great. So that was Cruising USA. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and get the next run set up here.